The largest offshore wind farm in Denmark will be constructed in the Kattegat. This was approved by the Danish parliament in 2008, so by 2012 the first power will be produced and transmitted ashore at Greno. With its capacity of 400 megawatts, the wind farm will be one of the largest in the world, supplying power to approximately 400,000 households. This production corresponds to approximately 3% of Denmark's total power consumption. However, construction of the offshore wind farm and the system that's to transmit the power ashore may not commence before thorough investigations have been made of waves, wind, seabed, nature and animal life. For the large local population of seals and porpoises will be disturbed during construction, though investigations have shown that they not only return but benefit from the large amounts of food living around the wind turbine foundations. That is to say, the foundations not only create new habitats for animals and plants, but the number and diversity of species increase, which can have a positive effect on the fish in the area. Power from the many offshore wind turbines at Anholt is collected at sea in a substation placed on a large 5,000 ton platform. The substation with its transformer is a heavyweight power unit. The substation transmits huge amounts of power, whilst the transformer's job is to increase the voltage so that the power can be transmitted ashore via a submarine cable for a distance of 26 kilometers onto the mainland. A smaller submarine cable then transmits the power from the transformer platform to Anholt, 28 kilometers away. So, Anholt can now wave goodbye to its diesel power generators and become part of the main Danish power system. With its 26 centimeter diameter, the large submarine cable is the world's thickest. Like the transformer, the cable is a main archery of power. Laying the submarine cable and landing it is a major process. The submarine cable from the offshore wind farm reaches shore north of Greno. A cable substation will be built on land where the submarine cable and the land cable can be connected. cable substation, the land cable transmits power 60 kilometers further onto the main power system near Trier, north of Aarhus. The cable will be undergrounded on the entire stretch. In Trier, the land cable is connected to the substation. Here, the voltage is transformed to 400,000 volts and the power is transmitted via the main power system across the entire country green wind power from the Anholt offshore wind farm that can now flow to consumers, houses, businesses and institutions, in fact, wherever power is needed. Denmark has an abundance of wind, wind waiting to be harnessed by building offshore wind farms and transmitting that power ashore and onto the power system to help make Denmark less dependent on fossil fuels create more green jobs and more green technology exports, thereby reducing carbon emissions and contributing to the slowing down of global warming and climate change. All this by simply exploiting the wind out at sea. Okay,